How's it going guys? Welcome back to the channel. It's BMW Dr. Dean here again and today I'm going to be showing you um, an important part which um, again on YouTube I've been seeing a lot of videos but none of them have been actually in English and this part on the car is actually very very important and a lot of people don't even realise for your air conditioning system to work properly and it's actually a, a safety feature as well built in by BMW so if you ever have an oil leak on your car um, and you've got your heaters on you won't actually smell it. The part I'm going to be showing you today is this, the AUC sensor. This sensor, um, people think it doesn't do nothing and people ignore it. I'm going to tell you what the sensor does. This sensor controls your air conditioning. So it, re it sniffs the air and reads the air. Now, if it thinks the air's too hot, it'll put your air conditioning on. It works on auto. Now, you lot will probably realize when your car's in auto, um, your air conditioning ain't working. And that's because of this sensor. The sensor sniffs the air and if it, it doesn't read, the correct temperature it sniffs the wrong amount of air it will not work your air conditioning will not work now a lot of you know this sensor is on the e60 it sits on the above near the pollen filter housing um before on e39s it actually used to sit on the fan shroud here now a lot of you are led to believe that it does not work but uh, um and it does not control the air conditioner why i'm going to tell you now that is completely completely wrong it does control your air conditioning. It used to sit here on the bracket. A lot of you who never owned E39, it was it was a, little, a black box and you can go and look it up online um, for the AUC sensor. Now they pull it here. Now if this don't work, your air conditioning will not work. Um, the other thing I'm gonna show you is the outside air temperature sensor and the location of that, which also makes your air conditioning run. But the next thing I wanna show you is this down here. I don't know if you can see this plug right underneath here, underneath this pipe, that's the air con pressure sensor now again when that fails your air conditioning will not work um, the only way of getting that to work is to replace that sensor which is down here which I don't know if you can see right here that sensor underneath that this pipe here is what controls the air conditioning so now I'm going to show you the outside air temperature sensor and as you can see I'm shining a light through it you can see it right there through the grills that is your outside air temperature sensor now if that reads the wrong air so it's always reading too cold your air conditioning won't work either this was another common problem on the e39 um the e39 just to suffer with this badly when that one went out your air conditioning wouldn't work because it'd read too cold and it would not allow the air conditioning to turn on because the computers think that the air is too cold so it won't turn the air conditioning on the compressor by default now if it's too hot it will keep your air conditioning running all the time so even in the winter so that's why you need to make sure that's fully working as well our dry conditioning will not work so please make sure all them three things work before you check it now i'm going to go back up to the auc sensor and explain more detail about that so this sensor guys it not only sniffs the air and directs the air to different air um different sorry flaps what it does as well if you've got an oil leak on your car anywhere from the rocker cover the pcv and it detects it the smell of oil it will turn your uh IHKA off which is your climate control so it is a very handy device to have and I think it's very worth having it working the like I say this part on E39 used to control the air conditioning as well and people didn't believe it until they actually found out their self until changing the AUC sensor and it's the same thing on the E60 if this is not working your air conditioning will not work um, I'm going to be showing you another common problem on the E60s while people think their aircon don't work as well um, and I'll be right back in a second to show you exactly that guys. So we're back and now I'm in the iDrive. drive A lot of you are probably wondering why I'm in the iDrive drive for the air conditioning But I'm gonna show you why if you have widescreen iDrive, drive like I do You'll see here. You've got climate. You need to go over to that now when I bought my e60 I wasn't too sure of this until I sat there for nearly an hour figuring it out why the aircon weren't coming out cold now as you can see here this is set to hot as you can see down there now what you have to do is manually go down change that and scroll to the cold wheel as you can see here till all your heaters are cold now it'll black cold air because you see if you set it just on the dials here it will not work now if you've got that set to 20 like i have up past 20 23 for instance this will still black hot air unless you change it in here you have to change it now as you'll not get air conditioning you have to change it to cold air on the on the system here. Now that's only if you've got the eye drive. Now that leaves it as normal, so it gives it warm air. This gives it very boiling hot air, and obviously the you go down for colder and colder and colder for the air conditioning. Now if you don't change that, you will not get air conditioning. A lot of you think that your air conditioning is not working. 
you need to check this. This is very, very important. Your air conditioner will not work unless you do that. People think that the um, heater control valve has failed because the air conditioner ain't come through. No, this stops the heater control valve from blowing cold air, but puts a block on it. The same way, and it allows a lot of hot water through. The same way, if you pull it to hot, it will only allow hot water to flow through and no cold air. If you pull it onto cold, it will allow cold air to flow through, but no hot air. It puts a stop on the heater control valve. It blocks it off. So that's why, and then when you go to a garage, any garage will tell you your air conditioning is not working, it's your heater control valve. Let me assure you it's not. You just come into your climate control panel here, turn it all the way to cold, your air conditioner will come up freezing. And always remember to hit this max button as well to get the air conditioning to come out quicker. Once that's fully cold, you'll start feeling your air conditioning get cold. Then what you want to do is turn that off and the air conditioner will be fully frozen. Obviously turn your dials down all the way to the cold section you won't need them but this is the three main tips of why your air conditioning will, will not work is the AUC sensor the pressure sensor the outside air temperature sensor and the iDrive system that's the four reasons sorry why your air conditioning won't work the four reasons there's a lot of reasons for it but this is the main reason is on the iDrive that people set it when I bought the car the, the person that had it before had it set to hot I was wondering why the air conditioning weren't working I went and got it regassed still wasn't working thought i had a leak then i started realizing that the eye drive went into the eye drive for the climate turned it all the way to cold my air conditioning come out perfectly cold because this controls the whole heat control valve by the computer and stops the heat control valve letting out cold air so guys thanks for watching my channel this is bmw dr dean i hope you've liked the video please like share and subscribe take care and bye bye <laughs>